Listen to me very carefully. When God's call comes on your life, you got to kill the cows and burn the plows. You got to kill the cows and burn the plows, which means you got to make a break with life as you used to know it. You will never be happy in Jesus until you start doing life the way Jesus wants you to do life. So listen to me, everybody who's a Christian. In this room, I'm assuming there are Christians here, but I'm also assuming there's a lot of non-Christians here, and we're so glad that you're here, but for the next few moments, you guys can just check out. I'm not talking to you. Listen to me, Christians. For some of you, you are living miserable Christian experiences because you refuse to kill the cows and burn the plows of your old life. Let me get personal. For some of you, you are living together, not married, playing house, having babies, and there's no ring. There's no legal commitment. Do you understand that God will not bless the disobedience of his children? It's just not going to go well with you until you make that thing godly. In the words of one of the world's prophets, if you like it, then you better put a ring on it. Oh, 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 oh. Don't make me do the dance. Because I will get Beyonce on you. I'm serious. You, you can't expect God to bless disobedience, friend. There's some of you men, you need to man up and marry the girl. Come on, put your big boy pants on. Come on, pull them up. Put, put the diapers away. Let's be big boys. Let's care for the girl that we decided to make babies with. Stop playing house. Start getting right with God and marry her and raise those kids and provide for them and be a man in Jesus' name. Enough. Kill the cows, burn the plows. It's time to move forward with God. Let me get a little bit more personal with you since I'm making friends. For some of you, it's time to tithe. You can't expect God to bless you financially if you don't tithe. You can't. It's over and over and over and over again in the scriptures. And you can argue with me until you're blue in the face. It's Old Testament. It's part of the law. It's not every. What are you talking about? Are you going to tell me that Jesus bled and died so that you could be cheaper than the Old Testament saints? Is that what you're going to tell me? We have been given God's best in Jesus Christ. In the Old Testament, God said, give me a tenth. All he gave them was two stones with ten laws. In the New Covenant, he gave us the blood of his only begotten son. I think that requires more, not less, of his people. Tithe first and watch God bless the rest. So he's on paycheck to paycheck. I can't do it. Do it first and you'll see what happens. And I want to let you know that this church is a case study of how the tithe blesses you. I went to a pastor's conference and this pastor was challenging us and he was from North Carolina. North Carolina. He's like, guys, you need to tithe as a church. You're not going to believe how God's going to bless your church until you start stepping up to the tithe as a church. And so, and so I was challenged, but I was wrestling with God. I was arguing with God. I was, I was like, God, you don't understand. He's from North Carolina. Have you heard of Massachusetts, God? I'm sure you can do that in the Bible Belt, but up here in New England, it just doesn't happen. And God said, stop arguing with me. And you know what happens is when you tell God what he can't do, he has a way of humbling you. And so we stepped up and we did it. And I cannot tell you just how amazing God has been to this church. In one year, we went 500,000 plus in our building campaign. You know that when we started tithing, we didn't know where we were gonna move to and we still have to move in two years, two years from this past April, we have to move. We didn't have any place where we knew we were gonna go. And as soon as we started tithing, God opened the door for this new building up here. That's how God works. When you start trusting him financially, he opens up the floodgates of heaven and he pours out such a blessing that you cannot possibly contain it. You gotta kill the cows and burn the plows and trust God with your life.